Hey, my name is Justin. This is The Art of Repair, and that's actually McDonald's, but we're in the Shenzhen Electronics Repair Market right now, just walking around, enjoying this super nice weather. I'm absolutely loving it. It's not too hot, not too cold. I'm from Tucson. It's usually just blistering hot all the time, um, except for yesterday where it snowed. Had I missed that, you know, lived there for years and years and didn't see a lick of snow and I leave and it snows and hits the ground and sticks. What's that about? But anyway, I digress. You guys know I can just talk and talk and talk about nothing. So anyway, where are we going to go? Let's, let's, let's go over here to the cell phone wholesale market. They've got some accessories and stuff over there too. What are we going to talk about today? I think that we should talk about CPU repair because this is something that everybody seems to be talking about right now. And here's my, 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 my favorite word that's going around right now. Easy. Okay? It's so much easier now. For some reason, it's gotten easier to do CPU repair. And first off, I think that's a kind of a load of baloney. I don't really feel like it's gotten any easier. I feel that as a whole, the entire repair market has just kind of grown up a little bit and matured. You know, over the last few years, we've had a lot of really good people running courses and putting, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these students through. And now that everybody's had a chance to get out there and work on their craft, you know, people are doing all their little touch ICs, their little audio ICs, all their, you know, bass bands, everything like that. And, you know, it's start, things are starting to get easier. So my opinion is that everybody's starting to gain some confidence and they're not so scared of it anymore. I mean, think about it to yourself for just a minute, okay? Before you got into board repair, and this is me included, everybody involved, everybody, when you when you even mention CPU repair, everybody's butt curled up. They're like, Ooh. you know, like they're scared of it or something. You know what I mean? Like it's some sort of like magic that cannot be done. Oh, ooh, getting run over by little kids here. And I think now that people are starting to actually get decent at, you know, board repair, that they're not really as scared of it, and they really shouldn't be. There was no reason for anybody to be scared of it to begin with. And I think that everybody had the potential to do it the whole time, and it wasn't really as hard as everybody thought it was going to be. I think that truly it comes down to a couple things, okay? You've got this whole crowd of people now that can do board repair. And then you've got a small handful that really care about what they're doing, okay? And this is where the secret comes in. And some of you guys are gonna be mad here because the secret's actually pretty simple. Time, effort, dedication, passion, okay? These small key things are what separates the people that can do CPUs from everybody else. They've taken the time to sit down and work on board after board after board. In fact, some of them have even spent their own pocket money on working phones and took the CPU off and put it back on and may have messed up the board and nuked the whole thing. But with that being said as well, those people are the ones that conquered it because they put the time, effort, passion, dedication into the whole thing. Oh man, we're about to go up the, look at that. It's like a never ending stream of people, we're gonna do it. All right, wish me luck. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't stink or anything like that. I just... <clears throat> just a second here, guys. Anyway, um, so, you know, I, I really don't think that it's one of those things that's super tough. And I think that we're going to start to see that a lot of people are going to be able to do it. I know right now we're starting to see all these advanced master classes here, advanced master class there, you know, popping up left and right. And, you know, we're going to start... I, I, would, I would wager a bet that within the next six months to a year, everybody's gonna start doing CPU repair like it's nothing. And, you know, we're gonna act like we didn't even remember a time when nobody could do it. Everybody's gonna act like they've been doing it for years. You know what I mean? So, that, that's, that's kind of my opinion on the matter. I don't really feel like it's something that's gonna be, you know, out of reach for too much longer across the board. I mean, if we look at the, the Chinese market here, and I'm not talking about all the stuff around me, I'm talking about the actual technicians, fact maybe oh like that right there just people out here just doing it big like crowds and crowds of people doing it big okay they're doing it and they've been doing it 
for years. Why? Because you got stuff like this where people are just busting their butt day in and day out working on motherboards. Okay? I mean, I'm literally walking through the repair market right now and it just never ends. Like, look at all this. This is why they're doing it, okay? Just, just, just think about it. This is why they're doing it. Because they're all here working all day, every day, busting their butts, learning how to do stuff, getting to that next level. You know, that's one of the reasons I'm here right now is because I want to get to that next level. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on CPUs. Hope you guys pick something up from this. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Catch you next time. Don't forget guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.